Hello everyone and welcome! In this video I'm going to be performing some tests to show the actual differences in acceleration before and after removing some weight from my Integra. So in my previous video on my Integra, I removed 83.8 pounds from it. And I want to know how much does this actually improve my acceleration. So I designed some tests in order to figure that out. So basically I'm going to be doing some acceleration testing um, and you want to eliminate as many variables as you can so that you know that the only differences in those two tests before and after is the weight and the weight is what's giving you the difference in your results. So what I've got is a second gear test and what I'm going to do is leave it in second gear and drive from 20 miles per hour to 45 to 40 miles per hour at wide open throttle and then I'm going to do a third gear test where I go from 20 miles per hour to 40 miles per hour at wide open throttle. And basically what this is going to be doing uh, for the second gear it'll be testing the mid to high RPM uh, revs of the engine versus the low to mid RPM revs for third gear. And the reason I'm doing these two separately is basically if I do want to do some engine testing in the future and I want to see, hey, did the high RPM engine uh, performance characteristics change or the low to mid change, then I will already have this data uh, in the past that I can reference. So, what variables have I eliminated in creating this test? Well, the reason I'm leaving it in a single gear and starting from a rolling start is to eliminate wheel slip. So I don't want those tires spinning because that's going to change my time uh, in acceleration and so then you know, you've got that variable to eliminate. I don't want to shift gears because you can shift gears with a different duration um, and have some clutch slip in there and that's going to give you all kinds of different results. So I want to leave it in the same gear for the test. My weight is going to remain the same. I'm not going to change my clothes or my shoes or anything. I'm not going to eat or drink before removing the weight or after uh, removing the weight. Basically, my weight will stay the exact same. I measured it before and after. It was the same. Um, so I kept that constant. Throttle delay. Basically, so what I did was I started accelerating at about 17 miles per hour. That allowed the throttle to be open fully. And then once the throttle was open fully, once it hit 20 miles per hour, I started the timing. So the throttle, basically I wanted to eliminate any delay in me pressing the gas pedal from starting at 20. So I put that before 20 miles per hour so that it would always be at wide open throttle once it hits 20 miles per hour. Um, I did this at relatively the same time of the day. So basically I t did the test, took all the weight out, and then repeated the test about an hour and a half or so later. Um, I did this with the same ambient temperature. The temperature actually outside did not change. It was 61 degrees Fahrenheit for both. Uh, humidity did change very slightly between tests, 38 to 41 percent, but that is pretty small. Um, I don't know what the actual difference that that would cause is, but I recorded it nonetheless. Um, this was done with a full tank of gas for both first and second tests. So if in the future I want to do um, acceleration tests, you know, you've got all the weight of the fuel there. So that's not going to affect anything. The car was warmed up and that's kind of critical. You want all the coolant and the oil to be at operating temperature. That'll definitely change your acceleration if it's not the same. Uh, this was all done on the same road uh, from the same starting point in the same direction. So all my second gear tests start at the same point on the same road going in the same direction. All my third gear, same road but different direction. It's just coming back. Um, but basically all the third gear tests are done one direction. All the second gear tests are done what one direction so that's eliminating any variables that could occur due to the road conditions uh, you know going uphill downhill it is a fairly flat road that I chose so basically tried to eliminate all of those factors so that the only difference between these two tests will be the weight and that will give us the actual improvement from removing the weight so let's check out the first test this will be second gear uh, accelerating from 20 to 40 before removing any weight been a bit fast to watch but every run was exactly 3.1 seconds so the test was incredibly repeatable and that's something kind of hard to do um, and it's showing that all of these factors that I kind of put in designing the test are actually working because the test is repeatable we're not getting differences in time with the stock run uh, from second gear um, and it's it's pretty incredible to me that it was the same 3.1 seconds for all three runs um, and, and the way I measured this was I took the frames so the very first frame that it hit 20 miles per hour, that was my starting point. The last frame was when the speedometer hits 40 miles per hour. And basically each frame is 1 30th of a second because it's 30 frames in a second. So I took the total number of frames, multiply it by 1 30th of a second, and that gives me the total duration. So it's all going to be in increments of 1 30th of a second. So for 
our third gear runs with the stock weight, we've got an average of 4.7 seconds, and there was a little bit more variability than second gear, but it was all within two frames. So with the weight reduction in second gear, we have an average time of 2.967. And once again, all of the tests were the exact same duration, which is awesome because that's just very hard to do to get perfectly repeatable tests. Um, so it's very cool that they were all at the same time, and that gives us an accurate representation of the difference in weight and the difference in acceleration. We've completed all of the tests we can actually look at the real differences between them all so for our second gear and for uh, the stock versus the weight removed we've got a time difference of 0.133 seconds so 0.133 seconds over an eighth of a second removed simply by taking out 84 pounds from the car which you know maybe that doesn't sound like a whole lot but that's pretty significant I mean this is only a 20 mile per hour difference and you're talking about saving over a tenth of a second so I mean if you're going to 60 miles per hour I mean that could be you know around 0.3 seconds that you're shaving off your 60 um, if that does translate pretty well across throughout that range of 0 to 60 miles per hour so that's actually pretty significant 0.133 uh, seconds for our third gear, the time difference between the stock versus the weight removed, 0.2 seconds, so pretty good. Um, and a, a percent difference between the time of after removing weight versus before re removing weight, 4.4% for the second gear pulls and 4.35% for the third gear pulls. So basically what this is saying is, by removing these 84 pounds, I've increased the acceleration of my car by about 4.3 to 4.4%, which is actually pretty significant, so it's very cool to have that and see that as a quantifiable result. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.